You're listening to the Market Update with Money. We're brought to you by the right choice investment from Discovery Invest. Graham Briggs, Chief Executive Harmony Gold, is with us in the studio. All those uh, tough decisions that you took, Graham, are paying off. You had another fairly good quarter. Gold production up 6% at Harmony. And uh, the numbers are, are really starting to get into line now. They're definitely coming in, Alec. Uh, all the hard work, as you say, is paying off. Not all the operations, but uh, they're getting there, for sure. And unfortunately, what tends to happen in a case like this is that we do focus on those areas where there are some difficulties. And Pamotsi has been a... Um, There's got to be a story, kind of Alex. There's got to be some <laughs> bad news for a story. That's fine. <laughs> but on the Pamotsi side, you've had two dealings with these guys, and both times it, didn't, it hasn't worked out terribly well. Yeah. And you, in this report, you say your uranium assets now, you're having to downgrade the price quite significantly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's... it's the problem with these sort of deals, and you're talking about the uranium, so Pramotsi Resources Fund, uh, the problem with these deals is they do take a long time. And as you know, there's been a lot of changes. Uh, the deal was struck originally in December, and a lot of time has passed and uh, conditions precedent and getting all those conditions precedent through. And all these deals have an expiry date on them. If you go past the expiry date, you're going to sit down and rediscuss these things. And uh, the uranium price has changed, the gold price has changed, uh, capital's gone up. So there are a lot of factors that have been taken into consideration. Because you were going to get $420 million. You're now only going to get 340, call it $350 million. Yeah. So that's quite a big $70 million difference. Yep. Is this hard, though, the latest figure? Are you actually going to get that cash? Yes, we're going to get it. And uh, it, there's a payment schedule to it. Uh, the first one is uh, during November, 21st November, where we get 40 million. Then we get the balance in April, 23rd of April. And uh, yes, I mean, we're going to get it. Um, the Pomozzi Resources Fund. This is the Pomozzi Resources Fund. Mm -hmm. And they're backed by uh, some uh, private equity funds in, in America. Because the Pomozzi Gold story has been probably even worse for you. Different Selling company. Selling assets into that. Yeah, business. different company as well. And, you know, they haven't done well. Um, we've now written down those assets to, I think, 34 million uh, rand. Um, so. Um, yeah, I mean, that has been fairly painful for us, uh, sort of as below the line. It's like uh, a 200 million rand write-off then. Yeah, I think the original transaction was uh, about 300 million rand. Sure, so it's a bit yeah. more than 200. Yeah. Anyway, then, of course, just to finish off the bad news, Mount Magnet in Australia, also you had to impair another 150 million there. I suppose when you're cleaning things up, you are going to have difficulties. Unfortunately, and, and it takes time to clean these things up. You have to go through a lot of process. So Mount Magnet was up for sale. Um, the junior market in Australia has been horrific in the last uh, 10 months or so. Uh, so to get, uh, you know, Monarch Gold had an had a offer in to be able to raise the money, they just couldn't do it. Um, so the but Monarch's gone into liquidation. It's gone into right? liquidation, yeah. And, and uh, the junior market is taking a lot of pain. Graham, when you make a decision to do business with people like Monarch and Pomodzi Gold, are they the, is it because they were offering the best deal at the time or were they just the only bidders? Well, uh, Pomozzi Gold in, in particular was actually a little bit before our time. We sort of clinched the deal, if you like. It also took a long time. Um, so really that was a deal in the making uh, before I took over. But uh, Monarch was, was a deal which was really the markets have changed dramatically. Mm -hmm. A lot of these uh, junior sort of uh, offers like at acquisitions, they, they're structured in a way sometimes there's a bit of royalty payment, but ours was, were structured in go to the market, raise some money, and we'll take the rest in script. Now, they couldn't go to the market to raise the money, and therefore the deal mm -hmm. fell over. The other issue locally where there are some question marks is on safety. We had Angler Gold Ashanti last night, uh, Mark Curifani. They had four fatalities. Goldfields Limited had two fatalities. You've had seven in the mm. same quarter, mm. but you are addressing that. And it's quite interesting in reading the commentary that you say safer mines are actually more productive mines. Very much so, yes. And it shows. I mean, where we've had good teams working together, both the labor supervisors, uh, management and union working together with some help from the DME, they really started working well, and it shows in production. You know, yeah. it just, you know, that communication, that team effort that works so well, uh, it just shows. And uh, so we've had some brilliant safety. We've had some bad safety. Seven is, is, a, bad, is a bad quarter, and, uh, but we've, we're doing a lot about safety for sure. And you've 
changed the management team at the Target Gold Mine and yep. brought in your chief operating officer to help at Yellen's run. So yep. clearly, this is a big focus for you. Yeah, no, and uh, and to do those sort of decisions, I mean, those are tough decisions, uh, especially in this market. You know, to to actually take people like uh, Alvain Pretoria is a very uh, professional guy in the executive, and to say. Now you're going to dedicate 100% of your time to Elon Srant. Uh, and he's keen to do it, and I'm sure we'll see the, the improvements in the future. Also talking about the other two of the big three gold producers earlier in the week, they, um, Nick Holland from Goldfields and Mark Urifoni from Anglo Gold, were both quite confident the gold price will hit $1,000 an ounce next year. Are you in the same team? I don't go to a thousand, but I'm confident. I think uh, for the same reasons. If you look at supply and demand, uh, the supply side is going down year on year. South African, I don't know what the figure will be at the eventual uh, sort of percentage down. I predicted last quarter they'll be down about 12% over the year. I think it may, in fact, be that. But uh, generally, there's no new big discoveries. Juniors, are, as we've been discussing, haven't been able to raise money, and therefore expiration is light. Uh, so this all does not bode well for uh, gold production. On top of that, the sort of total cost of production is probably somewhere between 750 and 800. So you can see that at today's gold price, people will have to look at capital and start cutting out projects. Mm. Are you anticipating that any of the gold mines, though, at today's gold price are going to start hedging again? Because that can often, as the gold price declines, uh, gold mines tend to try and lock in at least the value they have. Have you seen Alec, for us, for us, there's there's no decision on that. I mean, there's just we don't even talk about hedging. Harmony does not talk about hedging, so it's a very easy discussion in our boardroom, in our executive. People like to sort of mention it now and again. We don't talk about hedging. We don't hedge. We, yeah, our shareholders must make that decision. I mean, our shareholders must take a view on the gold price, what's happening in the market, and say, you know, is Harmony one of those companies I want to buy? We're not going to hedge. So uh, if they don't like gold, they mustn't ha hold your stock. Well, if they don't like an unhedged company, uh, then they certainly can't buy us. I mean, you know, we're not going to hedge. We're not because it's. I think you know, management can obviously do those sort of things and feel comfortable. Uh, you know, it sometimes you think, well, I should have hedged, but guess what? We don't, and uh, you know, we pass that risk completely on to our shareholders. And talking about shareholders, you have got a class action um, raised in the United States, a legal yep. action against you. Yep. What's happening there? It's a long process, Alec. Uh, we expect that the process will probably last as much as two years, so maybe another year and a half or so. Uh, we've got American Council looking after it, and they are now preparing to uh, move for dismissal. But it's a long process. Graham Briggs, Chief Executive of Harmony Gold.